In this video, I will show you how you set up your RME audio interface with Ableton Live. So let's dive into it. First, install the driver for your RME interface. If you haven't done this already, you'll find the link to our downloads page and the appropriate driver in the video description. After the successful driver installation, open up Ableton Live and go to Preferences. Under the menu tab Audio, you will find all the relevant audio settings. First, select your RME audio interface, both as an input and output device. Because higher audio channel counts will increase your CPU load, Ableton Live gives you the option to manually activate the audio channels you would like to use. To enable the channels of your RME audio interface in Ableton Live, open up the input configuration. Here we can select the inputs we would like to use. The same logic applies to the output configuration. If desired, you can thereafter select a different sample rate, both for playback and recording. Latency is important for controlling the time delay you hear when you record audio signals while listening back to them at the same time on your headphones or speakers. Latency can have a great effect on recordings. When the latency is too high, musicians often feel like they are dragging behind the beat. Reducing the latency is therefore key to a natural and great recording. So the smaller the buffer size, the smaller the input lag while recording and playback. An overall latency of under 10 milliseconds is usually barely noticeable for most musicians. Please note that a smaller buffer size will also increase your CPU load. Hence, it is really well advised to use a small buffer for recording, but increasing the buffer for mixing situations. Once you completed your audio settings, go back to the session view and select the tracks you would like to record. In the I.O. settings of the particular audio track, you can then select the input channel of your RME interface. If you don't see this section, go to the right hand side of Live and click on the I.O. button. Now you can start your recording. If you want to send audio channels to the output of your RME audio interface, simply select one of the outputs in the Audio to dialog. These channels will then feed the respective software playback channel in Total Mix FX. If you are not familiar with this concept, watch our Total Mix FX beginner's guide. Thanks for watching.